If you're planning a gathering with friends and family, take time to serve food safely. Hi, I'm Chef Justin Timoneri. Here are a few ways to help keep foodborne illness off your menu. Make it a habit to always wash your hands for at least 20 seconds before and after handling food. Wash and sanitize any cutting boards, dishes, and utensils that may have been used to prepare raw meat, poultry, and seafood before use with other foods. Be sure to separate ready-to-eat foods from raw food, like raw meat, poultry, seafood, and eggs to help prevent cross-contamination and foodborne illness. Cook your food to a safe internal temperature. Use a food thermometer to ensure your foods are properly cooked. Make sure chicken wings, for instance, have an internal temperature of at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And remember that meats will continue to cook after you pull them out of the oven. So allow them to rest for at least three minutes before digging in. And keep your hot foods hot and cold foods cold. If it's possible, serve hot foods in a chafing dish, a slow cooker, or a warming tray to keep their internal temperature at 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Cold foods like salads and desserts should be kept at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or colder, so you may want to keep them refrigerated until serving time. If they are going to stay out on the buffet table longer than two hours, place the cold food on ice to retain the chill. Not sure about the time or temperature? Remember, when in doubt, throw it out. Refrigerate any leftovers within two hours to decrease the risk of foodborne illness. If you are sending leftovers home with others, be sure the food goes in the refrigerator as soon as they get home. For handling tip sheets on cooking times and food safety storage, visit the Division of Food Safety's Consumer Resources and Outreach website at fdax.gov. And for delicious recipes like guava glazed wings, visit followfreshfromflorida.com.